Stephon Diggs, which we saw early this morning, did a four-year deal, 100. Four for 104, 70 guaranteed. So I guess that'll keep him in Buffalo until it's time for him to retire with Josh Allen. I mean, golly, Mark, why my mom and my dad ain't wait till like 10 years later to have this baby, man, because these boys getting paid the 100 plus piece. <laughs> Ike, and I'll say this, it has been a marriage ever since Diggs came over and got traded to the Bills. In my opinion, this really sets the market for Deontay Johnson, who's in the final year of his rookie deal because we've seen receivers get paid this offseason. Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill, and now Stephon Diggs. If Johnson continues to play at a similar level, I'd imagine he'll fetch a similar salary, whether it's through the Steelers or another team, because we've seen this uh, receiver market this offseason absolutely explode. Yeah, it's, it's, if, if you're a top-tier receiver, if you that stuff on Diggs, Devontae Adams, um, Tyreek Hill, if you if you in that category, you're gonna get over the hundred piece. You know, that's why I feel kinda sorry, not feel kinda sorry. That's why I feel sorry for OBJ. Cause I felt like OBJ, I don't think OBJ would have got the hundred, but he was on his way, I thought in my mind, to being the Super Bowl MVP if he didn't get hurt. So he was gonna get paid a lot. But if you look at these receivers and what they're getting paid now, Mark, these boys doing over hundred. Easy if you're the top tier in the NFL. <laughs> And I, we just need a time machine to put you back in time, and then that way you can double your coin. I, I, I know what we need to do here. Oh, 100 percent, man. If my mom would have had me two years later, I would have been the two hundred million dollar baby, easy. <laughs> Wouldn't have been money, Joe Hayden. It would have been money, Ike Taylor. I know. I'm trying to get some sugar from Lex. She playing though. <laughs> Hi, Mark. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. And it's a full listen. We got a full ensemble show. But I, we had to get to this information just breaking just before the show. I always like when we have breaking news because it's, you know, our instant reaction. And the first thing I thought of, again, given that Deontay Johnson entering the final year of his rookie deal did make right. the Pro Bowl eventually because Jamar Chase played in the Super Bowl. So Steelers are going to have a decision to make because. There have been rumblings that they want to extend Minka Fitzpatrick to shore end the back end of the secondary, but then we got to take Johnson. And the reason why I think that the Steelers can more easily replace receivers, given their track record to draft and develop young receivers. But the issue I have is the depth at the receiver position right now for the Steelers, because you know what you're getting in Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, hopefully can go back to his rookie ways uh, in year two, just there wasn't the same level of production as his rookie year. But then beyond those two players, remember Juju Smith Schuster is gone. Uh, Ray Ray McLeod is gone along with James Washington. So the Steelers, I'd imagine, are going to address the receiver position in the 2022 draft, Ike. But that's what makes this all the more critical because you might need to pay Deontay Johnson a little bit more money or come to terms with him, given that is a position where last year I felt like was probably where the Steelers were the deepest. And now you have two solid players for sure. But beyond that, a lot of question marks. Yeah, I, I just I just don't get why would I leave money on the table? You know, if if I'm one of these young guys and I'm seeing the stuff on Diggs get paid and I'm seeing a Tyree, Devontae, if, if I'm seeing all these guys getting paid, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, like there is no offseason for me. You know, so I'm looking at Chase Claypool, it shouldn't be an offseason. I'm looking at Deontay, it shouldn't be an offseason. Because, man, I'm talking about a, a $100 million. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I can be that guy and get over 100 Why would I want to short cut, cut myself off of making money? The NFL owners, I, I don't think these young guys understand. First of all, they they, they, they paying you coming to training camp to see how you look and you in shape. I didn't get paid off of goddamn uh, interceptions. I got paid by being consistently in shape, being on the, being on the field, not getting hurt. Shutting down the team's number one receiver. That's what I got paid. But when I took my shirt off in training camp, and when the coaching staff saw how well of a shape I'm in, and when the conditioning test, I was yawning at the conditioning test, they were like, man, who the hell is this little young guy? Then they wind up putting me on the field, and more, the more reps I got, the better I got. But the only reason why I got the reps is because, one, I got in my playbook. Two, I never had an offseason. season. You know, I work, I work 365. So that's what I'm saying. Like, 
these young kids, they just leaving money on the table, you know? And the ones who figure it out early, they stealing their money. The stuff on days, like, you know what? Let me just work out 10 years, have no off season, be selfish, and have generational wealth. Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, you know what? Let me just be selfish for 10 years. My family going to be pissed off. A lot of people going to be pissed off. I'm going to bust my butt in the off season. We're going to be straight for the rest of our lives. How you don't think about that? So these young kids, they think about the moment. They can't wait to the offseason. They can't wait to go to California. They can't wait to do a lot of stuff that doesn't pertain to football. <laughs> and it's not helping their pockets. You know? And the ones who do get it fast, and that's usually the ones who have families. The ones who do get it fast and have kids. The ones who do get it, they understand, man. I don't want to play. I don't want to play football for long. Nowadays, these kids playing eight to ten years. They saving all their money because they're making a lot of money. They leaving early. That's exactly what they're doing now. But how you don't get it? How you don't see everybody getting? That's why AB won't come back. ABC, ABC, and these boys getting a hundred million. They just ain't gonna let them back because off he act, how he act. But I, I just, I just, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because. Me and my son, we talk about this night. Like, my son, like, Dad, I'm gonna get 500 million. I'm like, holy moly. <laughs> I said, man, just make sure you take care of your mama. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, make sure you, but you know, it he he works. But he saw me work. At the time, we was getting paid, but we wasn't getting paid. With these boys getting paid, these boys said, four for one on four mark, 70 guaranteed. He just got he just got paid leaving the Vikings, Stephon Diggs. But I told myself I'd never leave money on the table. Y'all not gonna cut me because I make oh, I don't know how to act in the offseason as a professional. That's why y'all not gonna cut me. When I come in, I'm gonna be in hella shape. I'm gonna be well conditioned. I'm gonna keep my nose clean for the most part. And um, I'm gonna outwork everybody. That's that's they they pay they pay you to stay in shape. But it's so many words. They pay you to stay in shape. Just think about that. Just think about it. We pay you to stay in shape. That's as simple as it gets when it comes down to the offseason. I'm sorry. Of, no, no. A lot of wisdom there of 12 years of experience in the league, Ike. And how many other players can say that? How many other players can say that with the franchise as well regarded as the Pittsburgh Steelers? Again, going back to this Diggs deal, See what Deontay Johnson gets because Johnson was fifth in the league in receptions in the 2021 season. If he has a similar performance in 2022, you talk about getting paid, Ike. Again, whether it's the Steelers, someone else is going to pay Deontay Johnson that money if he replicates his production from this past season.